Yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm here. It's Aishana, naturally here for you, back with another video. It's gonna be a how to, high puff. Jumping right in, these are the products we're gonna be needing for today to achieve the beautiful high puff that you're gonna see. Starting out with maybe about a week old twist out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some water on my hair just to start to get it feeling a little bit better than what it actually looks like. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead in and put some oil on it to go ahead in with that water and just, you know, spread it all throughout your hair because you are gonna be putting gel on it. And sometimes gel just tends to dry out your hair. So I like to put a little oil on it just to get it feeling a whole lot better than what it might end up feeling like due to the gel. And due to having nails, I like to use the end of my brush to dip it into the gel to put it on my hair. That's all that that was. And now for the fun part, my edges. This is the part that probably takes me the longest because I am very particular about my edges. I don't like them too thick, I don't like them too thin. I'm just all over the place. And if I don't get it right, I'm not going anywhere until they are. So you're basically just gonna see me um, laying my edges. I did grab a comb because sometimes that helps smooth it out a whole lot better than the toothbrush. So, you know, I'm just going to go between the comb and the toothbrush to achieve the edges that I'm looking for. Now I'm going to go in with my elastic band and this is how you get your high puff. So basically I pull it to the back, just making sure that I don't mess up those edges and then I like to twist it one time. So I'm twisting right here, and then I'm going to bring that back around to the front, and we're going to scoop that back. And this is the portion where you figure out how high or how small you want your puff to look. Me, it was just looking a little too big, so I wanted it just a little bit smaller. So here I'm going to pull that band again and twist it, and then we're also going to wrap it around the front once again. And this will be the final size of the puff of what I'm looking for. Do I like these little curl things on the edge of, I don't even know what to call this, but it's my little thing that I like to do. I think it's cute. This is something that you don't have to do, but I like it, so I do it. Just highly suggest making sure your edges are good to go because you are now going to lay them down so um, it doesn't really matter how long you lay them down I personally lay them down until you know I finish my makeup or getting dressed and I normally wear my scarf out the house until I make it to my destination because my edges have a mind of their own And the 
big reveal. Uh -huh. It just laid, y'all. Now we're going to just spray some of this oil on my hair just to give it a little bit more shine. And sometimes you don't have to spray it right on it. I like to sometimes spray it in my hand because I definitely think some spilled on my shirt, but it's definitely okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and massage that in. And you guys, tell me what you think about this puff. And don't forget, if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button, like, comment. And what do I always tell you guys? Share with a friend. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love ya.